Hi, I've just returned from Thailand. I spend winters in the tropics, be it Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Costa Rica, a country close to Equator, because I love sunny and warm weather as well as tropical fruits. One of my passions is to discover tropical fruits, and that is one of the reasons why I travel to the tropics. From those travelings, my book Tropical Fruit Guide has emerged, and in this book I am presenting 40 different tropical fruit varieties. Many of these fruit varieties are not known to an average person, and so I decided to teach people about tropical fruits through this book. And this copy is my gift to you. First of all, I would like to point out that we should all acknowledge that our bodies are self-cleansing systems and they are equipped with the certain organs that perform detoxification. So it is not the food that which detoxifies the body, but it is the body that is always trying to detoxify itself. And here is the trick. If we are intaking more toxins than the body is capable of cleaning out in its own pace, then the final result is the accumulation of toxins in the body. So what we need to do is to reduce the intake of toxins so to make it easier for the body to perform detoxification. The best food for us in spring is the same kind of food that is the best for us during the whole year and that is fruit available at the certain time. This is because we have a constitution of frugivores creatures biologically adapted for the diet of fruits, tender greens and small amounts of nuts and seeds. In spring, in our temperate climate, we can eat bananas, apples, pears and early strawberries and other berries that are available in late spring. There are researchers showing that the chemical structure of fruits feed the crown of the brain, the upper part of the brain where centers for thinking, spirituality, morality and the will sit. Thus, the fruit-based diet enables higher activation of these centers and thus on the fruit-based diet people become more interested in nature, love, self-development and spirituality. On the other hand, there are various acids in animal products like arachidonic acid that activate centers in the lower part of the brain which results in destructive behaviors. So, I would like to encourage people to eat the living colors of spring which can be found in fruits. Here we have some bananas and as you can see their skins are spotted with brown spots. This is the indicator that the bananas are ripe enough to eat. Unripe bananas, just like other fruits as well, have a lot of starch which is difficult for us to digest. Since we produce only small amounts of amylase, the starch splitting enzyme. When starch ripens up into simple sugars, fruit becomes our best fuel source. Our cells use the simple sugar glucose as their fuel and fruits are the best source of glucose and fructose, our instant fuel. To give the body the best conditions for detoxification, it is the best that we eat the foods that demand the least energy for digestion. And that food is fruit. Uh, now we are going to make a fruit porridge. It is so simple to make that even children can make this. All we are going to do is to mash these bananas with some strawberries and blackberries. This is a meal that you can make in a couple of minutes and you are left with very little dishes. The reason I don't blend this is because I want to keep the chewing texture. When you just blend fruit you get a liquid that you drink and chewing is very important for the good digestion. You know that when people usually want something sweet after the standard lunch? Well, that is the indicator that the lunch hasn't satisfied their need for sweet. And here is a suggestion. Why not having a sweet lunch, where sweet comes from the best sugar form in nature and that is fruit. When God is with me, who can be against me?